Welcome to this video on uh, mailbox facility in RTOS. Mailbox actually it is a mechanism provided by the operating system for the purpose of inter task communication. It means communication between uh, different tasks and it is very useful to send the data from one task to the other task or multiple tasks if needed. And uh, it depends on the logic of the product, which data to send, which data uh, to, to, to send to multiple tasks and so on. So, let us understand the need of the mailbox. As you can see uh, that the task is an activity, it is an activity that runs continuously, it means it has its own infinite loop and it does typically dedicated work, it's, it has its own work. However, if the tasks are doing the work dedicated in isolation, then uh, they will not, they may not be able to do a sensible uh, overall work. For example, task wants to send the data to task 1, task 0 wants to send the data to task 1. Let us take an example. Suppose there is a pressure sensor and task 0 is uh, actually handling A to D converter. So, it will be continuously getting the data from continuously getting the data and uh, then converting into digital and then if the final output is kept here itself and not shared with the control uh, task, then there is no purpose of getting this data. So, the task 0 that is A to D converter task must do the job of its own job of A to D conversion continuously taking the pressure sensor data, but also it must share the data with the task 1 that is control task or any other task. So, this is very important, this is very important. Now, this is what is illustrated here, we have a task 0 here, then task 1, it can be any task like uh, we took example of ADC uh, and control task, it can be other task also, task 1 can be LCD task or some other task. So, what task 0 cannot do is directly it cannot send the data to task 1, because they are uh, having their own infinite loops. But operating system provides one mechanism called mailbox, this is the mechanism provided by operating system. So, what it allows? It allows the task 0 to put a message in the form of a pointer in the mailbox how to create a mailbox, how to use the mailbox we will understand and task 1 can get this message in the form of a pointer and then use it for its own work. Now, we may ask why the pointer is passed instead of simple data passing. There are two reasons. Number one is if pointer is passed, then any amount of data can be passed because we are passing the pointer can be passed. So, this is very very important. You can send 1 byte, you can send 10 bytes, you can send a structure, you can send an image data, whatever you want to send, you can send it. And any data type, any data type can be sent. It means data of any type, you can say, data of any type can be sent, any type can be sent. So, both the things are important because the operating system writer does not know what kind of data and what amount of data the developer is going to pass. So, that is not known. So, two things we understood one is the, uh, the mailbox is an act, mailbox is a mechanism. Second thing is that there are situations where the data need to be transferred from one task to the other task and uh, for doing this the operating system provides a mailbox. So, let us uh, look at a demonstration of the program. So, here we have a program uh, to illustrate the mailbox facility. So, we are using task 0 and task 1 to start with. Uh, the mailbox is created, but to store the address of the mailbox we have created a pointer. So, the first job is to create a mailbox pointer. So, this is the first box uh, first point. So, we will write down here mailbox pointer, it is not a mailbox right. Then 
we need to create a mailbox. Here we have created a mailbox. OS mbox create is the function and the mailbox is initialized by null message or no message. And the pointer that is returned is uh, or the address that is returned is saved in the pointer my mailbox which is created above. So, right now we have a mailbox available which can be accessed through the initialized pointer. Then as usual we have created two tasks OS will start when the main runs. Now, the task 0 as we know has a while 1 loop it has a dedicated work and uh, we want to send some data and for convenience we have created a data of unsigned integer type. So, here we need to create uh, a variable where we can save the data. So, the variable is created. Now, this variable is initialized to a value 5 or maybe we can initialize it by value 3. Now, this 3 value is to be sent to the task 1. Now, task uh, instead of sending it directly to the task 1, it is sent to the mailbox okay? and it is sent in the form of a address, it is sent in the form of a address fine. So, uh, this is the function OS mbox post uh, which is used to send the data to the mailbox. After sending the mailbox uh, LED 0 is made on and LED 0 is made off just to make sure uh, or just to understand that the activity is done. So, that we can from the waveform we can understand that mailbox posting is done. Then we go to task 1 which is expected to receive the task. So, there is a while 1 loop and uh, whatever we receive must be saved somewhere for that we have created a variable c1 unsigned integer c1. Since the data is in the message is in the form of point pointer, we have also created integer uh, unsigned integer uh, pointer. Okay. So, here the variable is initialized to 0, so that our program does not malfunction and a function OS mbox paint is used to monitor whether my mailbox is getting some uh, message or not the uh, waiting period that is timeout is infinite and this is the address of the error uh, byte or error variable. So, once the message is available we will get a pointer or the address in this pointer and by accessing this address uh, pointer we can get the data in C1. So, we, we got the data in C1. Now, what to do with this C1 is up to us for, for uh, illustration purpose what we are doing is uh, we are flashing the LED C1 number of times. So, if C1 is having 3, it will flash 3 times. If C1 is having 5, it will flash 5 number type, 5 number of times. Now, this is done very easily by using a for loop. And then there is a uh, some time delay after uh, all flashings are over. So, this is the whole uh, program, very simple program. In this uh, task 0 is sending some information, right now it is 3 and task 1 is receiving that through the mailbox and based on the data received it will flash the LED uh, those many number of times. So, let us build this code and go to debug and uh, run the program. So, when you run the program you will find that task 0 is sending the message because uh, when it sends the message if you look at this code task 0 sending a message posting the message and then LED on LED off one time. So, this is the uh, activity and as soon as this message is sent the other task that is task uh, 1 since it is pending since it is waiting for the message it will get the message and it will flash the LED uh, how many times 3 times because the value of a message is uh, the message sent is 3. So, if we repeat this if we remove if we modify the program for uh, making the data sent as uh, 5 instead of 3 suppose 5 then uh, we will build this code and uh, then uh, run the program. So, we will find now whenever task 0 sends the data whenever task 0 sends the data uh, task 1 receives it and it flashes the LED 5 times. So, if you again uh, do the same thing uh, just to make sure that whether the things are working fine or not. Suppose, if we write here 2 
it means 2 is the message sent through the mechanism provided by operating system. So, we will find that the LED will flash 2 times. So, it means this is clear indication that the message is passing from task 0 to task 1. What to do, what to do with this uh, message is up to the user. Fine. So, in conclusion uh, as we saw in the demonstration, it is possible to send the information from one task to the other task and uh, you can say since the data is uh, passed to the form of in the form of a pointer, any amount of data can be transferred uh, and uh, also the data can be of any type because again it is a wide, wide pointer that is used and uh, therefore, mailbox is a very useful and in fact essential facility in a serious RTOS based application and it is typically used for inter task communication or passing data from one task to the other task. So, thank you for watching this video. See you in this next video. Bye.